what is up guys and welcome back to the channel guys we back with the metric system we got why the metric system matters and i believe it's a ted talk so somebody finna tell us why it matters and why the u.s you know uh america is just stubborn you know we don't like to chain things up or anything like that mate we like to make things complicated around here but let's see why it matters y'all hit that subscribe button send down those recommendations what does the French Revolution have to do with the time NASA accidentally crashed a $200 million orbiter into the surface of Mars? Actually, everything. That crash happened due to an error in converting between two measurement systems, U.S. customary units and their SI or metric equivalents. So what's the connection to the French Revolution? Let's explain. For the majority of recorded human history, units like the weight of a grain or the length of a hand weren't exact and varied from place to place. And different regions didn't just use varying measurements, they had completely different number systems as well. By the late Middle Ages, the Hindu-Arabic decimal system mostly replaced Roman numerals and fractions in Europe. But efforts by scholars like John Wilkins to promote standard decimal-based measures were less successful. With a quarter million different units in France alone, any widespread change would require massive disruption. And in 1789, that disruption came. The leaders of the French Revolution didn't just overthrow the monarchy. They sought to completely transform society according to the rational principles of the Enlightenment. When the new government took power, the Academy of Sciences convened to reform the system of measurements. Old standards based on arbitrary authority or local traditions were replaced with mathematical and natural relationships. For example, the meter from the Greek word for measure was defined as one ten millionth mm. between the equator and North Pole. And the new metric system was, in the words of the Marquis de Condorcet, for all people, for all time. Standardizing measurements had political advantages for the revolutionaries as well. Nobles could no longer manipulate local units to extract more rent from Dang. commoners, while the government could collect taxes more efficiently. And switching to a new Dang, Republican... just think of all the people that probably been, was paying so much more than what they had to. That's crazy. ...government could collect taxes more efficiently. And switching to a new Republican calendar with 10-day weeks reduced church power by eliminating Sundays. Adoption of this new system wasn't easy. In fact, it was a bit of a mess. At first, people used new units alongside old ones, mm. and the Republican calendar was eventually abandoned. When Napoleon Bonaparte took power, he allowed small businesses to use traditional measurements, redefined in metric terms. But the metric system remained standard for formal use, and it spread across the continent along with France's borders. While Napoleon's empire lasted eight years, its legacy endured far longer. Some European countries reverted to old measurements upon independence. Others realized the value of standardization in an age of international trade. After Portugal and the Netherlands switched to metric voluntarily, other nations followed, with colonial empires spreading the system mm. around the world. As France's main rival, Britain had resisted revolutionary ideas and retained its traditional units. But over the next two centuries, the British Empire slowly transitioned, first approving the metric system as an optional alternative before gradually making it official. Dang, so I, I, now after seeing this, I honestly feel like the metric system is important because of the history that it had. Like, just imagine all the people, like, if there are certain different met, uh, metrics that people didn't know, but a law was put in place or something that people didn't understand it, you know, that I feel like a lot back in back then, I feel like a lot of people probably got robbed for not knowing a lot of certain things. But with this, it just goes to show if you do something long enough, eventually people going to fall in line like. The time repeat itself all the time and people are going to repeat things that have already happened. You know, we think it's new just because it's in our time. You know, 
the kids are grown now and you know they think this stuff most things are new but really it's time just keeps on repeating itself and everybody just eventually do was already done i just feel like if the metric system hey if it works it should be an option we should let it allow it to work to understand the world in all those other videos hey the world the world don't revolve around the u.s it don't you know but most people in the states think it is proving the metric system as an optional alternative before gradually making it official however this switch came too late for 13 former colonies that had already gained independence. The United States of America stuck with the English units of its colonial past, and today remains one of only three countries which haven't fully embraced the- See, that's not, if you're, I feel like now it's important that I know my metric system. If I'm trying to see the world, cause look, where are you gonna go and try to understand things if you don't know? Like, look at this. You got Africa. I don't even know what that is over there. You know, I don't, you know, the whole continent. I don't know all of it, but shoot. Learning our standard uh, system is not going to do anything if you try and travel the world. Like, you got to, I mean, you got to know both. Got to be open-minded. But <laughs> it goes to show it's not that effective. Metric system. Despite constant initiatives for metrication, many Americans consider units like feet and pounds more intuitive. And ironically, some regard the once revolutionary metric system as a symbol of global conformity. Nevertheless, the metric system is almost universally used in science and medicine, and it continues to evolve according to its original principles. For a long time, standard units were actually defined by carefully maintained physical prototypes. But thanks to improving technology and precision, these objects with limited access and unreliable longevity are now being replaced with standards based on universal constants, like the speed of light. Mm. Consistent measurements are such an integral part of our daily lives that it's hard to appreciate what a major accomplishment for humanity they've been. And just as it arose from a political revolution, the metric system remains crucial for the scientific revolutions to come. Okay. Nice, nice. That was something worth sharing. That was a lesson worth sharing. Cause I was sitting here thinking too, like, I believe at least now that I'm familiar, usually when the doctors uh, when my kids have appointments and stuff, I noticed that I believe they do go by the metric system in the hospital simply because, like I said, more science based. Those type of things, those type of situ, you know, in school, did a lot of feet yards and that's what we know it as. But I do believe when you go to the doctor, they do use more of the metric system because when they take uh, do my son's uh, weight and height. They're not taking it. They're not taking his height by uh, feet, but you know, by centimeters and stuff like that. So, I think that's cool. I think that's cool. So, but definitely, I'm definitely gonna have to get up on my metric system when I get to Europe or before I get to Europe. You know, so I can know my kilometers and all that stuff. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Hey, send me more recommendations. This was good. This was a good little history lesson, too, you know, so. But that's all I have. Y'all be blessed. Be the best and be you. I'm out.